When you look at classic planets from science fiction, one that really stands out is Hoth, the, the icy world from Empire Strikes Back. If you want to find an analog to Hoth, I'd say probably the best one that we know right now is in our own solar system. It's the moon Enceladus of Saturn, which is this you know pristine white icy ball that has these fantastic geysers of ice that kind of spray out into space. Now, Enceladus way less hospitable than Hoth was, but you know if you're looking for that kind of like icy world, that would certainly be an option. No wampas, though. In Star Trek, one of the classic planetary systems is the homeworld of the Romulans, which is actually a double planet system, Romulus and Remus. Now, the idea of two planets that are orbiting one another isn't just science fiction. So if you take a look out at the very outer reaches of our solar system, you get to the dwarf planet Pluto and its moon Charon. And if you watch the two of them orbiting, you actually find that the two objects orbit around a mutual point in space. That would actually categorize it as a, uh, as a dual planet system. So in the movie Alien, the planet uh, LV-426, in a lot of ways is, is going to be much more typical of exoplanets that we find. It's a very hostile environment, uh, you know, it, it does have an atmosphere, it's rocky, it's terrestrial. In a way, that is what exoplanets really are. Trying to find anything that seems even remotely habitable is a very, very rare thing. We can't go anywhere in this. Uh, we actually had a press release come up finding evidence of an asteroid belt in a system known as Epsilon Eridani. Now, as big Babylon 5 fans, when we were getting a chance to illustrate this, the system, it was kind of exciting. It's like, oh, maybe we could put in a little reference to it. So hidden way down in the corner was this very subtle hint of a, a silhouette of a shadow vessel, the bad guys from Babylon 5, hidden down in the nebula. Once in a very rare while, it's, it's fun to kind of work in some kind of a thematically appropriate reference into a piece of art. When I was a kid, one of my thrills was the idea of being a special effects artist. And the fact that I actually am doing visual effects for NASA is pretty darn awesome.